Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthspan. On January the 21st, 2021, there was a preprint published on BioArchive entitled Universal DNA Methylation Age Across Mammalian Tissues. The paper involved a total of over 130 authors from 15 different countries. This study not only describes a new methylation clock, which works in 128 different mammal species using the same methylation signals, it also lends support to the program theory of aging, as opposed to the theory that aging is the accumulation of damage over time. The main author of the paper is Dr. Steve Horvath, and one of the co-authors is Dr. Harold Katcher. We have just released a study review of another paper in which they were co-authors, Reversing Age, Dual Species Measurement of Epigenetic Age with a Single Clock along with a series of interviews with Dr. Katcher. Dr. Katcher has the same opinion as Dr. Horvath on the program theory of aging, and we had the opportunity to ask him about it during the interview, which we will publish soon. So let's take a look at that paper. Here is the paper, Universal DNA Methylation Age Across Mammalian Tissues. As mentioned, there are a number of authors, but you can see here Dr. Katcher and Dr. Steve Horvath. One theory of aging proposed by Dr. Aubrey de Grey and others is that aging is a degenerative process caused by random accumulation of cellular damage over time. However, the authors note, age can be accurately estimated based on DNA methylation profiles across any tissue of the body, the pan tissue clocks. It is therefore difficult to ignore the likelihood of a defined and shared mechanism. That is to say, aging is programmed rather than random. To investigate this, the authors attempted to develop a set of pan tissue clocks that would be valid across all types of mammal. They developed three clocks that worked across eutherians, basically ordinary mammals like cats and dogs and humans and monkeys, and one for marsupials. The conclusion they draw is that the observations support the theory that aging is an evolutionarily conserved process of development across all mammalian species. Let's look at the paper in more detail. The first task was to identify the CPG sites which became more methylated with age in a predictable manner across the various species. To do this, they looked at five organs, brain, blood, liver, muscle, and skin. They performed analysis on these tissues and found that the methylation was correlated more often than not, especially in the areas which were associated with methylation during aging. While many sites were specific to location, 54 potential universal sites appeared to be shared among all organs. Strikingly, the majority of the 36 genes close to these sites are involved in the development process. Here we see graphically the 54 common CPG sites and the genes that are close to them in the bottom table. Having identified the sites, they then needed to construct clocks based on these sites. They developed three clocks for mammals. The first correlates DNA methylation to chronological age, but because different species have different rates of development and lifespan, it does not show good correlation. To get around this, they developed another using relative age, where relative age is the current age from conception divided by the maximum age for the species, giving a number from zero to one which estimates how far an organism is through its life. And the final clock was based on sexual maturity, as the maximum lifespan of many species was not known, and there is a good correlation between the age of sexual maturity and total lifespan. Here we can see the correlation for clocks two and three with age. The LOFO in the title refers to leaving one factor out, a statistical method to try to avoid some of the issues with training sets, such as overfitting. We can see that there is a correlation of 0.94 between the clocks and the relative age, which is very high. The important thing about this paper is not the clock, fascinating though it is, it is that we, what we can learn from it. If epigenetic age moves in regular and predictable fashion through all species, albeit at a varying pace, then this would indicate an organized process, not the result of random damage. The second part is that the paper also identifies the genes that are being affected by these changes, and so gives us an idea where to target if we want to reverse them. It should be noted that the theory that age is programmed is not new, and Dr. Katcher has written about it before, 
as in this 2015 paper, towards an evidence-based model of aging, where he points out that the evidence conflicts with the idea of a random damage being the major cause of aging. And as per his final comment, if we can identify the process, we can potentially control it. I hope that you found the video informative. We will continue posting videos daily on the latest news in anti-aging and extending health span. We will also bring experts from around the world to discuss the latest advances in the longevity field. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button and choose all for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.